Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. Now, what you see on your screen is actually a plastic cable top cover, which I got from Amazon. I will put the link in the description box below. Uh, it's made of vinyl and I got a 16 by 16 square. Uh, since it's a tabletop cover, they come in various sizes. Uh, a lot of them were way, way too big. I mean, big enough to cover a dining table. So I got one of the smaller pieces. This is two millimeters thick. Um, now I put some double stick tape on my silicone mat, which is the uh, under layer because I just want to cover all the uh, beat up marks on my printing table which I found on the street uh, just for filming purposes so anyway this is 16 by 16 it's resting on a silicone mat and my paper my paper is 18 by 24 and what I had done is find the center point and make a tick mark. So since this is 18, this is 9 inches and 9 inches and I mark the center line here on my silicone mat. So when I lay my paper, I will make sure that these tick marks coincide. It's kind of a oversimplified way of doing registration um, because this is a, a different size from what I'm used to using. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying acrylic paint on this uh, plastic sheet. Now the reason I'm doing this is I realize that not everyone can afford a jelly plate. They are expensive um, and not everyone has the money to uh, fork over for something that they will not be using all the time. So I'm hoping that this experiment can work for, uh, this can be an alternative to using a gel plate. So I have here some Soho acrylics. Now I do like these because they're heavy body. They don't take as much time to dry. They, they have a longer open time. So they are ideal for mono printing. So we'll start with lime green. Now I do not have a preconceived design. I'm just doing this as an experiment. I'm really not sure if this is going to work, but I thought it'd be worth it just to prove a point that you don't need to have expensive equipment to make interesting art. This is magenta. And here is some gold. It's metallic gold. Now, 
the only drawback about this product since it's a uh, plastic sheet when it comes it comes rolled up and it was rolled up so tightly so it took me a couple of days to unroll this um, I, I rolled it in the opposite direction and then I placed it under a heavy board for a couple of days so it's laying somewhat flat right now but um, that's the only drawback so I will use my color shaper my silicone spatula to work on this actually it's a little I'm gonna use something narrower yeah this is more like it because this is a smaller surface it's uh, 16 by 16 so by using this the uh, spreader I'm able to create these interesting variations of color Now I'm working in somewhat of a grid pattern. I'm alternating vertical and horizontal strokes. Okay. Then I will add some. This is Amsterdam sky blue light. just to fill in the blank spots. Now it handles very differently than a gel plate. No, I'm, I'm a little annoyed that it's not perfectly flat, but I'm going to make do because this is just an experiment. I even put double stick tape on the edges, but it's still kind of rolling around, curling. Okay, let me just clean this up. Now the advantage of a gel plate is that it sits a little higher because it's thicker. Now, since this one is only two millimeters thick, whenever you apply uh, acrylic on it, you're going to have spillover on the, on the sides. So I just make sure it's clean. Okay, now as usual, I will put some more marks with my aloe vera stem. I'm 
and let's see what happens. Okay, so here is the tick mark, and I'm lining it up with the center line. Now I'm hoping eventually this piece of plastic will flatten out when I uh, store it underneath something very heavy like a pile of books or something like that. No, this is Strathmore 400 paper. It comes in a pad form. I will put the link in the description box below. Okay, I, I will leave this on for about four to five minutes to allow the paper a chance to absorb the uh, paint. Oh, I think it's tearing. I think this is a huge fail. It's, it's uh, stuck on like glue. this way now I don't know if oiling is going to help Pretty rugged. What a mess. So I guess this is not very um, forgiving, like a gel plate. The uh, acrylic actually stuck on the plastic like, like glue. So I may have to remedy this with some hand coloring. Because it does have some nice textures and I'm pleased that it's actually centered so uh, anyway so much for that I don't know if I can salvage this um, 
I could try some Blicrylic. Well, let me put this away. I'm pretty disappointed. But hey, you don't know until you try. this has a lot of extenders in it maybe it will help put some fluorescent orange Okay, this is a little more Maybe it gets better as I go along Let me keep going This is Stalo Blue by Blicrylic.
Here's some more lime green. This thing keeps shifting around, but I'll just have to put up with it. Actually, it gets better as you as you move along it gets better now the uh, paper that got torn in the first pool is beginning to come off titanium white and see what happens.
see what happens. I'm going to have to do it like this. It's pretty wild. I always remember what my professor in, in art school would always say. She said, never do this. But here we are, kind of like this. Okay, so let me air dry all three of these. That was kind of a scary experience, but a learning one. So I will be right back. Okay, everybody, this has dried very nicely. Now I have to get into damage control mode. And since there are so many vacant areas here, I am going to fill them in with some blocks of color. And I'm going to use a transparent yellow to start with. Again, I'll be using my silicone color shaper. Okay, I'll start with the yellow and then proceed with some lime green. Going to add some dark colors here. This is Payne's Gray.
cadmium red light. some raw sienna Okay, I think that filled out very nicely. I'm going to stop here and move on to the next piece.
Okay. Move on to the third one. Oh, I forgot this. There's a little blob here. Gonna try some metallic gold to counterbalance the darkness.
Okay, everybody, this has dried very well. Now, I cannot leave well enough alone. I have to put collage on this. Don't ask me why. I think this will look good there. And this here. And this. There. Okay, that's much better. I think it gives a needed graphic element. Let me show you a close up. So I'm glad I was able to save this train wreck. Uh, believe me, it wasn't pleasant at all to rip that paper off the plastic plate. Needless to say, I doubt I will ever use that again. Um, I'm going to use that plastic sheet as maybe a uh, something to roll off my paints. I'll see what happens in the future. But um, I like this. It's a chance for me to uh, do some abstract painting on paper. So that is the first piece, the uh, near disaster. So here's the next one. has a lot of interesting textures because of the overlap of transparent paint. It's a very painterly surface. That is the second one. 
Now I, I have a drip here, but um, hopefully when this gets framed, if I manage to sell this, hopefully this can be matted and you will not see this part. Or I can easily trim this off and be done with that. Here's the third piece. This one is the one with some gold on it. And there's a lot of action and texture. I can imagine this as a very large canvas. I think it would be very striking. So I decided to leave these uh, fragments of paper. to the last piece, which I think is my favorite. I hope you liked this video. This was quite an adventure for me because uh, I had never tried this uh, technique before. Now, um, I just want to show you what happened to the plastic sheet. Now, I scrubbed this very well in the sink, but it still managed to curl. And I find that annoying, actually. So, I gave it a shot, and it's not the greatest. That's why a gel plate was formulated to do its thing. And you get what you pay for. So I can use this for something else, but it was worth a try. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, for bearing with me, for my mistakes. I learned from my mistakes. I think they're very valuable lessons. And uh, I hope to make people learn by looking at my mistakes. So thank you so much. Please check out artwhisperer88.com and the proceeds of the sale help to keep this channel going. I hope to see you next time.